Thank you, Dr. Narendra, for inviting me. Um, I'm just going to talk to you about how we try and manage the macular service problems that are happening due to this tsunami of patients we have to now treat with various disorders. So, just going to give you a bit of background on um, and looking at lean philosophy, um, the service improvement process itself, and the pathway that we designed. So we are now faced with an aging population where they have more prevalent macular diseases and CSR being one of them and we end up having to do multiple individual injections to treat these chronic diseases. So the challenges for administering these hundreds of injections each week means that you are facing a capacity problem in your clinics. Now what is lean? Lean is actually a systematic approach of eliminating waste on ev with every step so that you add value to every step and what it looks at it looks at the cost it looks at the quality and looks at how we deliver and to achieve lean what you need to do is design a very simple system you need to recognize that there's always room for improvement and you need to continuously improve on the lean system design itself the constraints that we all of us face are the same all over the world, which is lack of funds, you have limited resources, you have lack of time and lack of qualified personnel to help you. So this is our, we are lucky in at Frimley that we have a dedicated eye unit and we started this, we got this eye unit in 2005 and we run what is called a one-stop service for the macular conditions and where we have referrals from all around the region. We look after 1.3 million population. They come in, they have their investigations and the treatment the same day. And we thought we had achieved all this very well until we found that this was the situation where we had lots of patients in our clinic and we had to do you know, weekend and Saturday <laughs> clinics to cope with the, um, the tsunami of patients. So we decided to look at a service improvement process. Stage one, we identified that the macular service was having a problem and this was from patient feedback as well as from the clinical issues that we were having. We set up a stakeholder group to brainstorm some improvement ideas and these are the people who are in the stakeholder besides uh, myself, there was the operational manager, there were nurses, healthcare assistants and external stakeholders and we also looked at other services on seeing how they addressed the capacity problem. The next step was looking at the demand and capacity analysis and for this we looked at our clinics back from 2009 to doing a analysis of how it would look like in 2016 and what was the issue and how many uh, 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 how many spaces that we were short having a shortfall of and to do this we also had to look at the costs and the risks of all these improvement ideas that we were brainstorming and an option appraisal was then done at the end of it we found that the mobile macular unit was probably the best way of addressing the problems in our area or in our region and so we set this business case up and then took it to the hospital board for approval. Besides this, we also needed to understand how we were going to measure this service improvement process and we identified measures of success and decided we needed to have some baseline to decide whether putting in this new service improvement actually helped the process. And what we did was patient satisfaction surveys and auditing the patient flow to the treatment center. So these are some of our measures of success that we used and the main one being the shorter time interval that the patient spent in the eye clinic itself, maintaining the four weekly follow up with the individual injection process and trying to eliminate the weekend and evening clinics that we were doing. And in the end we wanted to achieve some, something like 250 slots in a week. The then design and the planning process was quite intense and uh, as you can see some of the things that we had to look at was you know not just uh, trying to see how the mobile unit was going to function but there were IT issues there were the transferring of images from the main hospital to the mobile unit etc etc 
and this is just to give you an idea about you know the, one of our steering group meetings would look like this where we had a whole host of problems that we were dealing with right from who would be cleaning the mobile unit to a, as important as how is the generator going to work on the mobile unit this is the best bit so we went on an away day took the whole team with us and we did a simulated walkthrough to see how the mobile unit was going to be or designing the mobile unit itself so as you can see um, initially when we started off we found that if we only had one clinical assessment room then there was going to be a bottleneck over there so what we have now is um, the entrance sorry i don't i don't seem to have a pointer um, and then you have the waiting area the reception you go the patients go in have their vision checked in the two little uh, vision channels and then they go in and have their oct imaging done and they come back and if they need an injection have an injection and go out so this is what the pathway looks like and um, and like i said we need to, we needed to set up 4g imaging transfer facilities from the main hospital to the mobile unit as well sustaining and sharing so monitors of success using like i said the patient satisfaction survey what we found was that this was an immense improvement on what actual process was if you remember what our original process in the eye treatment center the patients were there for about an hour this had gone down to 30 minutes because we had literally had a very slick system in which the patients could be treated we also had a project meeting at the end to see what were the um, issues that we needed to uh look at and the lessons that we learned from this process so finally the mobile macular unit which is like my chief exec says oh it's geeta strux it's actually two big lorries that are zipped into one and it opened in um, june this year last year and uh, we actually have found that we've managed to achieve all our objectives with this we now have 250 extra slots in this clinic it goes every week um it moves to a different location and, and on a four weekly cycle and the workload of course is continuing to increase but we've now made an um, a, an improvement process which has adapted uh, through the lean the structure we're looking at treatment options and the skill mix and the important thing to remember is you need to work with your finance teams as well to get this going thank you very much